What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now, Back to the Past. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to take a look at Dead Space and the big twist of Nicole and kind of gush about it. I thought this would make sense for a Halloween video, a horror game, a very scary game, and honestly, one of the better horror games of all time in Dead Space. And one of the things, not the only thing, but one of them that made it so unique and so amazing, even back when it first came out, same thing for the remake, although the remake in this regard is slightly weaker is the revelation of what actually happened to Nicole. Now, in order to go into it, we have to spoil it. So if you haven't played Dead Space, you don't want to know about any of this, obviously uh, you should probably turn away now because it's going to ruin you know, a big part of the game overall. But the twist, obviously, that Nicole is actually dead the entire time that you're on the Ishimura and you're looking for her. She's not actually there helping you. She's not actually there talking to you. Those are all hallucinations that Isaac is going through. And firstly, considering, you know, retrospective channel, I want to kind of talk about the very first time that I played this game and I think just how powerful this twist actually was. Well, one of the first things that people commonly think of when they think of the twist is the cues that the game directly gives you and it's through the chapters, right? Every single chapter, the first letter spells out Nicole is dead. And I remember, and now here's the, th actually, I don't remember. That's actually the long story, but very, very short. I don't remember if I knew that going in. I think I kept myself away from it, but I also don't know if I put it together in the moment. I put together that Nicole was dead. Like I got the twist. I understood it, all that jazz, but I don't think I actually figured out the whole first letter thing spelling out, you know, the phrase. I don't actually think I figured that out till later, kind of reading about it and everybody gushing about it that, you know, there, there's more to it and we're going to go over that. But just the simple fact that, you know, as you're playing the game, this is more to us, right? I think that it's actually, then that makes it very, very special. Isaac is going through his own stuff in this game, and he's confusing, you know, reality with hallucinations, and obviously he has to try to figure it out, but then us, the player, who's literally playing as Isaac, we get these, you know, kind of cues, you know, objective cues, the character doesn't see them, you know, on their screen, that's not how it works, so when a new chapter loads, the character doesn't know what the chapter name is, right? And, and that's a very, it's a basic thing for sure, but it's something that kind of transcends the game and gives it to us, the player, where if you're really paying attention and you're paying attention to wording and I guess the first letters, it's a, it's a little bit of a jump. I don't know, you know, off the top of your head, you know, if you're playing it for the first time, I don't know if, if you don't know to look for it. I don't know if you would look for it, but the idea that it spells out Nicole is dead, I think is a really, really cool thing that once you do it and once a game like that does it, you can never really do it again, right? That'd be copying it or it just wouldn't be as original and unique. And granted, as I said earlier, it's not the only thing. It's, it's part of this really cool twist that partially made Dead Space such an amazing game, but it's not the full thing, but it is very, very cool. And then there's, you know, obviously the actual twist kind of playing out in front of you. So Isaac knows this, you know, throughout the game, like Isaac is in serious, serious denial as this game goes on because Nicole had sent him the video, the audio log of her talking about it and her injecting herself, right? I don't know if you're allowed to say it for YouTube purposes, but let's say she eliminated herself uh, to prevent a much more gruesome and terrible death upon her by the necromorphs, uh, and she took herself out. And now that in and of itself and how you experience that throughout the game and, you know, having stand-ins, you know, kind of replacing her, right? Like you think you see her, but it's actually somebody else. And again, the realization that Isaac has kind of known this in the back of his head and other people have known this and he just kind of pushes it deeper and deeper down. Not that obviously there's external events that are making him, you know, crazier and making things kind of fall apart, but he's doing it. He's partially responsible. I guess other people technically they're kind of responsible because at any point they could have said hey Isaac like you know you know she's dead right like you keep saying you're seeing her you're hearing her uh, you know she's gone right and nobody kind of like outright says that to him and that's maybe a little not, not necessarily a plot hole I think you kind of have to do that in order for the mystery to be kept alive and then obviously again the the big twist that she was never there these voices these these figures they're just kind of stand in you know replacements of it now the remake does a few different things and 
kind of arranges it a little bit different, gives her different voice lines that does kind of indicate that she's not really there. And this is something I actually noticed in the moment because I feel like, again, it's been a very long time since I first played Dead Space, but I think it got me. Like, I understood it when it happened, but I think I believe, just like Isaac believed, you know, that Nicole was actually there and actually, you know, uh, participating, helping him. And so I'm pretty sure I was fooled as well. In the remake, now granted, you know, going into the remake, I'm playing it with the knowledge of, obviously, I know the story, I know the characters, but the game does, I feel, in the moment, give out more hints where there's just some wording, like, you know, phrases that she says that just kind of sounds off, that it's like, well, she wouldn't necessarily say that, and it doesn't ruin it, I think, by any means. And I've said it, you know, in past videos and other channels, I'm, I'm jealous of people that get to, go, like, go in games, like, completely unaware of, like, marketing or trailers. Gaming knowledge is just as much, I guess, a curse as it is a gift, right? I like knowing about games, but also you never really get to go into games with that, you know, just no knowledge, just having the game kind of be told to you and experiencing it uh, fully for the first time. So I am jealous of that stuff, and I do wonder somebody who, you you know, they're into survival horror, they like those games, but they've never played Dead Space, they've never, you know, heard of it, and they just kind of go in for the first time and let this stuff hit them. I Well, number one, good for them. And number two, I wonder what that impact kind of has on them. Now, you know, again, back, I don't know, I don't think actually I played it in 2008, considering I got my PS3 in uh, mid-2009, so it was probably closer to, like, Dead Space 2 time that I played both Dead Space 1 and 2. I can't remember, you know, every single detail, but I guess I actually was that person, right? Somebody kind of new into gaming, not really aware of what was going on. Dead Space was a new IP, right, a new franchise. I didn't watch, like, walkthroughs of, of many games, almost no games, that I watched walkthroughs of. It was kind of rare, and so I went in completely, you know, unaware of what was going on, and I was blown away. But, you know, the Nicole twist in Dead Space I do think is very, very special. Again, there, there's a lot. The story in Dead Space is extremely good. The gameplay is is extremely extremely good the visuals at the time the visuals in the remake the the game is overall a masterpiece it's it's one of the better games i think and better game franchises even with dead space 3 uh, to ever come out okay it really is but the idea of nicole the twist in a, of itself was such a vital, vital part. I mean, it plays a huge role, right? Because most of what you're doing, yeah, you're doing like objectives and you're going throughout the ship and finding things and fixing things and all that stuff, discovering what happened there. And I think that almost makes it like more sad, more like a, like a Debbie Downer where you're realizing what happened. You're realizing all these people that were either transformed or ripped apart or, you know, no longer with us, let's say, again, for YouTube purposes, you're finding all this terrible, terrible stuff, but you have in the back of your head, you know, his wife is there and you're, you know, you're looking for her and you have the hope as a player because obviously, you know, maybe you have some sort of emotion and you say, okay, husband and wife, I want them to kind of be reunited. But also it's because the character believes it too, right? And for the most part, they have pretty good reason to believe it. You're being told you're being talked to by her you're being seen by her you can see her right so you have all of these cues in the game that she is still there and that there's a chance that you can reunite only to again number one kind of being told throughout the entire game that it's a lie right through the chapter names and all that also again if you pay attention enough I think you probably could figure it out but that's very I mean it's easy to say it having played it multiple times hard to say it on the first go right and then when it happens it's like oh kind of all for nothing right like I can understand why Isaac is insane and he definitely doesn't have the easiest time in Dead Space 2 or 3 either because his, I mean his, his mind is totally messed up but he also has just gone through quite a bit and you know throughout the entirety of the first game believing that somebody he loves so dearly and you know again kind of repressed memory or repressed thought that he knows he does know what happened but he kind of just sinks it really deep down then you have the markers you know impact on him and I, I don't know if you want to call it like amnesia or you know whatever you want to say but obviously he has the belief throughout the game that you know she's still alive and there's still a chance and that, that's very sad huge part of the game huge twist and I love it I still love it now I still think it's incredibly incredibly clever and a big part of what made the first game such a good one although let me say I don't even know if it's all that controversial I actually still do think Dead Space 2 is the better of the two games I can't wait for that to get remade so let me know what you guys think in the comments make sure as always you guys are subscribed to the channel bell icon turned on and I hope to see you all on the next one